Yes, that's nasty. I see what you mean. It's a pretty large hematoma. Mm. And soft. I don't know whether there's any sexual damage. Do we have a name for him? Ray Piper. Hello, Mr. Piper. You've had a pretty nasty crack on your head. How did you do it? Do you remember? No. Do you want me to phone anyone for you, Mr. Piper? Let them know where you are. Do you have family, Mr. Oh. Piper? Um, X-rays and keep him in for ops. Yes, and Jeff, I'd probably get Mr. Rose to have a look at him, just to be on the safe side. Mm. Well, that's him done. Sliding across the ice, broke the sound barrier, crashed into a bollard. Mm. You got time for a coffee? Uh, no, no, no. I think I'd better plough on. I've got a chap waiting for me. Thinks he may have swallowed a glass bauble. <laughs> oh, come on, Gordon. Life does have its funny side, even at Christmas. Yes, well, that's it, I suppose. Christmas. I'm not really in the mood this year. Mm. Well, you'll soon get into the swing of it. Will I? Yes, once you're with the children. Mm -hmm. Look, Jill, I'm sorry, but, um, you do know how I feel. Right, where's this patient? I haven't got much time. Ashford is like a war zone. God knows what people get up to at this time of year. Join the club. How many have we had today? I hate to think. Uh, three cases and fractures from sliding on the ice, broken arm from putting up a Christmas tree, several post-party alcoholic poisonings, and a man who mistook a bauble for a biscuit. Uh, and my mystery head injury, if you'd like to come this way. I think I was invited to a house party in Scotland. Guess what, everybody? We're going to be on telly. Why ever did I say no? Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Any responses? No. Oh, come on, cool. There's still a chance. His cold body temperature must be right down. Cold water drowning? Yes, look, things are still on our side. The water was extremely cold and the lad's very, very small. Well, yes, OK, but even if we do manage to get him going again, Gordon. If he cooled down quickly, then the brain would have been protected. And if there was an air pocket underneath the ice, then he may have been taken in oxygen. Yes, if. Yes, if. And that's what I'm going to assume. Five. Very slight response. Five. Five. Yes, and his colour's definitely Three. getting pinker. Two. Three. How long was he under the water? Twenty minutes. Two. Three. And how long since he was taken out? One. Forty minutes. Five. There have been cases in both Canada and Norway where they've been yes, able yes, to... Yes, yes, Gordon, where victims have survived thirty to forty minutes underwater, I do know. In cold water, drowning the mammalian diving reflex can protect the major organs, particularly in the case of young children, if the body can be resuscitated. Yes. Which brings us up against the time limit. One hour is the maximum time we try for, after which... Good, then that gives us another twenty minutes, then. One, two... I'll get out of your way, old chap. Keep it up. Come on. I'm not giving up. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Gordon, it's been well over an hour now. Yes, I know. Two, three, four, five. Maybe we've done our best. Maybe we ought to. No, another ten minutes, please. You've already had another ten minutes. And I've told you I'm not giving up. Stuff. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Peter, he must be a very strong little boy. Thank you. Come on, sir. I'm afraid you're going to have to let us look. Had a rough guess, seeing as I was come from an office party. What happened? How we got into a fight with a man from accounts. And he's a little bit shy about letting us have a look. All right, well, may I have a look? Ah, well, looks like the man from accounts. Might have bitten off more than he can chew. Dr. Weatherman, please. Oh, roll on, Boxing Day. It's just as bad, isn't it? Well, at least I went on Christmas. Ah! It's all bent backwards. I can't look. All right, Lionel. Ah. All right, I'm sure it's just a sprain. Ah. We'll see you when you come back from X-ray. All right. Ah! Ah! 
You know, I could have told you that was a pipe, but just from the racket. What's happened? Uh, fell down the stairs. Oh, don't tell me. His mum was at the top at the time. <laughs> you know, that's the third member of that family we've had in as many days. Any more, we're going to have a full set. <laughs> Hello. I'm uh, Suzanne Piper. Me to see my granddad. So what was it like being a telly star? Uh, hmm. <laughs> Look, um, I'm going to be off now till Boxing Day, so... Merry Christmas. Something like that. Ah, guess what? What? We've got another Piper in casualty. And Mrs Norma Piper claims she's been beaten up. Oh. <laughs> right, well, I'll be right along. Jill, uh... Merry Christmas, Jill. Come on! The more, the merrier! Thank you, everybody. That's a wrap.